Hello everybody, it's Uncle John from Uncle John's Farms here in Center Point, Indiana. It's been a while since we've done a video. Actually, I've uh, been doing some full-time work for some other people, and it's been winter time, so things on the farm has been a little slow. But, some good news, we've got some feeder pigs that are coming tomorrow evening, and I don't have a waterer for them. And I went on YouTube, and I've seen a lot of these guys, they take a barrel, they drill a hole, they put a special piece together and a pig nipple, and uh, I got thinking about that today, and there's just like, well, there's got to be a little easier way to do this. Now, before everybody jumps on me, this is a more expensive way of doing it than finding a barrel, you know, plastic barrel, and, you know, getting all the parts and doing it. Um, what I did is I went and bought a rain barrel. Now, there's two reasons I did this. One is for the pig water, but two, we're not going to keep pigs all year round. In the wintertime, we don't have pigs here, and the way I'm doing this, I can convert this back to a rain barrel and use it through the winter time. So that's the reason I went to the expense of buying a rain barrel. But I'm going to show you real quickly how easy it is to turn a regular rain barrel into a pig water and the pigs will be out in the woods. They'll be of course cleaning up the woods a little bit and this will make it a lot easier for us to keep fresh water to them. Alright so I've adjusted the angle on uh, the camera so that you can see this. I've set the rain barrel here on the deck and I set it on the back. It's flat on the back side, this particular one. Here's where you would be hooking the stuff up for your hose for the regular rain barrel. Now, you can buy these pig nipples, and the pigs come up and they bite down on it, and it releases water down this little trough so that they can get a drink. Well, as you can see, that's not going to fit. So what you need to do on this particular one from Tractor Supply, three quarters on the outside, half inch on the inside it's a three-quarter to half inch bushing now you may not have to Teflon tape it like I'm going to but I'm going to tell you I'm going to do this for a reason and that's I don't want it to leak I want to make sure that it's not going to leak because this is the new tube of Teflon I had to go open it up you'll have to stick a knife in there but I always use the Teflon paste because it's a little easier for me to use you can use Teflon tape it's, it doesn't really matter. I've always had better luck with the paste than I've had with the Teflon tape. Some guys, they swear by the Teflon tape, but I always seem to unroll it before I get it screwed in there, and I tend to have leaks. So you take your bushing, and we're going to screw it in here just like this. Make sure you get threaded straight because it's plastic on the barrel side and you can't strip those threads out. You don't want to do that. And a pair of plumber's pliers, channel locks. You can use crescent wrenches on it. It doesn't really matter. They don't have to be super, super tight since we've got the paste on there. say you don't want it super super tight because you don't want to strip out those threads. Then we're going to take the pig, pig nipple, do the same thing to it, and you don't have to use a ton of that paste. But get it across all the threads. Now on the pig nipple you want to make sure you don't get it on that little screen there. screw that down into the bushing and we'll wipe all this down real good too on these there's a place on here to actually grab it and then you want to line it up so that the little trough is on the bottom Now we'll come back in here and wipe all this off and uh, that's how you make a pig water out of a rain barrel and like I say then in the
the winter time when we don't have pigs, we'll come back in here and take the pig nipple and the bushing out and put the hardware on there for the rain barrel and use it again as a rain barrel. Well, that's one little project that's out of the way. It took about five minutes to make this pig water. Again, we're using the rain barrel because it's double duty. It's going to be a pig water, but it's also going to be a rain barrel for next winter. Now, we do have feeder pigs coming in. That means we're going to have pork that will be for sale by the quarter, half, or whole. Um, what it is is you'll buy the live pig off of us. We'll take it to your processor for you, and then you'll pay the processing on the pig. If you'd like more information on how you can get farm-raised fresh pork that has been out on the uh, woods or out on pasture, um, just give us a call at 812-240-4936. That's 812-240-4936. We're only taking orders for the pigs on a first-come, first-served basis. Um, you will have to put a deposit down. We're not going to hold any since we've got a limited amount of pigs for this year. But again, if you'd like to find out more about all of our products, we have uh, poultry, we have grass-raised chickens that will be coming up uh, probably in July. They'll be ready. We'll be taking orders for them in the next few weeks. We've got farm fresh eggs as well for $2 a dozen. We also sell goat milk lotion and goat milk soap. All you have to do is give us a call 240-4936. Or you can head to our website at unclejohnsfarms.com. Thank you for joining us today, and thank you for being a part of our community. We really do appreciate it.